everyone, I'm Cammie from The Op, and welcome to The Op at Home. Today we're going to be looking at Harry Potter House Cup Competition, where you sort yourself into one of the four houses at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, either Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, or Gryffindor. This worker placement game takes place over seven rounds, where you get to send your students out into Hogwarts to learn lessons, complete challenges, and ultimately try and win that coveted House Cup this game plays two to four players, takes about 45 minutes to an hour to play, and retails for $49.99. So let's take a look inside the box. I've laid out the game board here. You'll notice most of the spaces are pre-printed on it. We do have an additional deck of cards that has 18 extra locations to add a little bit of replayability. We've got some lessons set up and our challenges. And the last thing we added was a turn marker down at the bottom, and this game plays over seven rounds. So to set up your house, you're gonna take your house player board, three associated students, here's Harry, Hermione, and Ron. You're going to slot in these level trackers into level one in each class. And there's three classes for the students to take. Potions, Charms, and Defense Against the Dark Arts. Finally, to finish setting up, each player is gonna get two knowledge tokens and a lesson card. And let's get started. Each round consists of two phases, classes and challenges. In the classes phase, you're gonna send your students out to the professor's office to earn magic, to the library, to earn knowledge, and finally to the classroom, where you get those all important levels. Levels are gonna help you in the challenges phase. So let's play around in a two-person game. I'm gonna be Gryffindor, and we're gonna compete against Slytherin for the House Cup. I'm gonna send my first student out into the game board. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a peek at this lesson card I was dealt. Because lessons can be played before or after I place my student, I might be able to do this this turn and basically get a second action. Ooh, I only have to have two levels in potions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is send Harry out to the potions classroom where he gets a level in potions. He also gets to take an easy challenge card. We're just gonna grab this one right here. And now I can play this lesson. This is gonna give me the opportunity to grab two knowledge. I'll just take those and add them to my stash here on the game board. With that, that ends Harry's turn and it's gonna go on to the Slytherin team. They're gonna to choose to send Vincent Crab out first. You don't have to play your characters in order and he's gonna help make life easier for Malfoy. So he's gonna to come to the professor's office and get some magic. Magic tokens can be a substitute for any level that you're missing but they also help you get to some great spots. And we're gonna take a look at that in just a second. Next, let's see, let's send Ron out. He's going to come over here to the borough. Makes sense, it's his house. He is going to get a level in any subject he chooses. He's going to choose, what do I need over here? He's gonna choose Defense Against the Dark Arts and he's gonna get one magic token. Now, you remember the magic we got with Crab? He is going to use one magic and both his knowledge tokens in order to allow somebody else to go to this spot. It's going to be Draco Malfoy. Draco is going to get two levels in any classes he chooses. Let me take a peek here and see what he's going to do. Ooh, he wants to get at least one of them in charms. So slide this up two spots in charms. He could have split those levels if he'd wanted, but now he can play this card. Let me put these back in the supply. He is going to allow any student to get another level in charms. He's gonna take one more. This is really gonna help when it comes to the challenge phase. The higher up you can get your student level trackers, the better you're gonna do. So for Hermione's last movement, we are gonna send her over here and she's gonna get a level in Defense Against the Dark Arts also. This is gonna help us with our challenge in a little bit. Uh, so she got a level there. She gets one more challenge card. I'm gonna take this one way down here. This gives a lot of victory points and I like that. And finally for the last placement here, it's Goyle's turn. He's gonna come and get a level in charms and take a house challenge card also. And with that, we're gonna move on to the challenge phase. So bring all your students back home. So let's grab all of these markers, put them back where they belong. In the challenge phase, all of your students can work together. This is great because you don't have to have any one student have all the levels needed. Now, if you can, that's a bonus. In this case, I need two levels in charms, 
five in Defense Against the Dark Arts and one Knowledge Token. Thankfully, I have some of those. So if we look at our player board, every student automatically started out at one in each classwork. So the important thing now is to find out how many levels in Defense Against the Dark Arts I have. Harry has one. We can count Hermione's two, that's three. And Ron has two more, that's five. So with this one Knowledge Token, I've earned 30 points for Gryffindor. Let's put those gems right over here in this house hourglass display. I love that sound. It's victory. And let's see what Slytherin's up to, shall we? So Slytherin needs three potions, three charms, and three in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Great news is we don't even have to do the math because if all of those students work together, they're guaranteed to have it. So we're gonna have Goyle and Crab and Draco Malfoy work together to earn 30 points for Slytherin. Uh-oh, this looks like a tie game. Good news is we've got six more rounds to find out who is actually gonna win the House Cup competition. Thanks for watching.